Hey folks, how you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Been getting some fuel. So, today is Friday, and it's supposed to be the only dry day we're having this week. The weather's pretty cold, 10 degrees Celsius. A um, few things to tell you. I got a speeding fine. Oh yeah, but it weren't on this, it was in my car, um, the reason that happened, well obviously it's because I'm speeding, but it was basically on the day that my best friend's motorbike got stolen, I got a phone call from him in the evening, saying that his son was on the phone to somebody who'd seen his dad's bike on this housing estate so I just said right I'm coming up and we're gonna have a look so anyways got up there my best mate got in the car and his son and we went up to the estate and basically you know it's my fault old man's up to it but the adrenaline was rushing you know it was like thinking oh, there's a group, a group of them I'm going at them, I don't care, you shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have the bike. So yeah, that's how I got caught speeding and it's got a long story short, the bike wasn't even there. So I don't know if somebody just rang his son up, you know, for a wind up or something, but yeah, it wasn't there. He's supposed to be getting a phone call today actually, because it's been three weeks today since his bike got stolen with regards to pay out. And if you're from Bolton, you probably know that we've been all over the news. We've got the highest infection rate, I think, now in the country. And that could possibly mean that we're going into some type of lockdown. Now, Andy Burnham, the MP, I'm sorry, he's not an MP, he's the mayor of Greater Manchester, has said, you know, he doesn't really want us to go into another lockdown. So we'll just have to see how that turns out. Or works out, I should say. And then on top of that, I've had a squatter living on my motorbike. I uh, took the cover off a few days ago and my seat was covered in paw print. And I was thinking, oh my god, please not rats, because it's kind of where I live. Um, especially in the summer months, we tend to get an infestation of rats. I'm talking like running around in your loft and stuff. But it turns out it's a cat and a ginger tom. So I'm kind of in one way happy that he's sleeping on the, you know, the cover on my bike in the back garden. So hopefully he'll keep the rats away. So yeah. Um, there will be no rats in my kitchen. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Hey. Uh, no other traffic. Never usually traffic up here unless that truck's parked. Oh no no no. Got it parked up. So yeah, um, I'm just heading off to one of my favourite spots. Belmont Reservoir. And I love it up there, it's so peaceful and quiet. You get like a lot of people walking the dogs you know, riding bikes, and they're all polite, they'll actually have a conversation with you all, say hello, good morning, and all the rest of it, but yeah, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, the weather's just been terrible, it really has, and this is the thing, I came this way yesterday, um, to do this exact video, and it just started hammering it down. I mean, really, really hammering it down. Hailstone and everything, and I was just absolutely, by the time I got home, I was soaked. But the annoying thing is, by the time I got down to the town centre, it was dry. I was like, can you believe it? And I mean, everything went through. My motorcycle jacket was just, and it's supposed to be waterproof, all singing and dancing. Yeah, all right. Hands wet through. I actually had to take my gloves off and put them in my tail bag because they were just soaked with water. And ride the last few miles home 
I've got my gloves on. I couldn't believe it when I got, like I said, when I got there to the 10 cents, oh look at that little pony, my little pony. God, my daughter would love that, I'll be frightened to death of it. But yeah, and it was so much warmer. And I have to say, today is less windy, yesterday was pretty windy. And like I say, today is the only day we've got. Um, where there's going to be no rain. Because my mate wants to go out with me tomorrow, but it's forecast rain. I've not really looked into how much, like what the percentages are of how much it's going to rain. I'm just hoping it holds off for when we do go out, because we generally go out just after dinner. And don't worry, I'm not speeding. This is a national speed limit road. 60 miles an hour! Um, if I think right, I'm a single carriageway. I've changed some settings, I've moved my microphone so I hope you can hear me. Um, I've changed it to wide instead of super wide. And I've put the sort of filtration on, sort of, I can't remember the bloody word for it, where it's just more a wash with colour. So yeah, I hope it's all working and I hope, you know, um, I've got a video for you folks because like I said it's been two weeks since I last uploaded a video and uh, I kind of sometimes when I'm watching YouTubers and it's like a channel I really like I, I want to like upload a video every day but I say I've just not been able to stay the, I've just not been able to uh, the weather's just been that bad I would say yesterday was the worst. It really was. I was. Whew. Don't get me wrong. It was good getting home and drying out and stuff. But yeah. But yeah, um, I got a thing through the post from the police. Uh, it's going to driver awareness course. So I have to get that booked in. And it's online now because of COVID. So that's not too bad. And they're saying it's only like two and three quarter hours long. So. I'll do that, but that's costing £90. What you need right before you're supposed to be going away. And that's if we can go away. So they might lock us down. Well, a local lockdown, that is. I'm hoping they're not going to do that. Uh, just love being out on the bike, I really do. Absolutely love it. Miss it so much. If it's up to me, I go out on it every day. But um, I do not want to experience weather like I did last time and I'm only going slowly through this because whatever that water is, it absolutely streaks. It smells like, I don't know, just like something's rotting. I don't fancy the idea of rubbing my hands all over it when I'm cleaning the bike. Cause it smells like sewage water actually, that's what it sounds like. And again, I'm only going slow because even though the bike was covered in dirt yesterday because of the rain, ended up cleaning it and just... So I go slowly, slowly through the puddles to try and keep the dirt off the bike. Oh, my baby lambs. Oh, they're so cute. See you in Toby Carver in a few months. <laughs> Only kidding, I don't eat lamb. Chicken and beef guy, mate. Yeah, I don't know if I just said actually, this is a... Uh, oh god, I've got... I think it's Belmont Reservoir. I always want to call it Belmont Reservoir, and in the distance you can see it there, Bolton Sirling Club. Um, but yeah, I just I love... oh god, I want to know. It's just so quiet and tranquil, I love it. Oh look, I think it is Belmont Reservoir actually. Let's squeeze it, squeeze it really. I don't really feel like to bring bikes on here, but me and my mates would come up here and just chill out and have a chat on the bikes. There you go, that's what I mean. How tranquil it is, how quiet it is. 
And it's nice thing about my friend's bike being stolen, because you can see that road in the distance goes all the way along. All the way up there, and that's the way we were going to go to get to Blackpool. Yeah. Not be able to do it on the bikes and go on the motorway in my car. Some duckies. There were some baby ones the other day. Well, yesterday when I was here. Oh. That's how quiet it is. Absolutely love it up here. You can think. So yeah, yesterday I rode over that way towards the church and up to a Blue Lagoon, Lake, Reservoir, whatever the hell it is. And just as I was getting down into the valley, it just started chucking it down. I actually pulled over at the side of the road under some trees. And I was going to go up right over the tops and through Horwich, but it just hammered it down with rain and hailstorm. So I'll tell you what, we'll go there now. And there's not a drop of wind. Wind? Wind? Not wind, rain. But then I won't be. So yeah, that time yesterday it was just starting to rain. And I might try to get two videos done today so I can lo load one today. And it depends what, do you know what the rain's doing tomorrow because me and my buddy Sanjay want to go out. Um, so if the rain, if it's not raining too badly or it's just passing over, I'll do a video with him. Manchester in the distance, don't know if you can see the high rise buildings. Because this camera has a habit of making things look really far away. It's only like 12 miles away, but on the camera it looks like it's about I don't know, 30 miles away. And yeah, the bike's running well, no problems so far. You know, 771 miles on it. I've only got another 229 to go, and then, as they say, you can, you're good to go. Like I said, you know, I don't make a habit of ragging my bike. You know, I'll just get up to speed and then coast along at the speed limit. It's back along you. I just love riding slow and taking it all in. Just really chills you right? And I'll tell you what, I was up here a few weeks ago in the evening um, before we started getting the longer nights, and it was perfect blue skies, not a cloud anywhere. And it was, I think it was about 12 degrees. And I came along this way, and I wanted to do a video for you folks where you get on the other side of that hill, you know, there's a sunset. And it was brilliant, I was like, oh, this is fantastic. And don't get me wrong, it was fantastic, other than the fact that my bloody camera wasn't recording. <laughs> Couldn't believe it when I got home. I could not believe it. It was like the perfect evening, it really was. It was lovely. Uh, I'll just pull my visor down, get rid of that wind noise. And I've moved my microphone, so I hope, you know, that, that's better. But yeah, I've been looking at other action cameras uh, and I'm leaning towards the GoPro 9. But I want to. Uh, oh, is that on the burrito? That's the bloody rider. Okay. Hope he's okay. Or she's okay. Let's help. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's really, really steep. Left my indicator on. God damn it, man! What you doing? And I always go really slow down here because you know um, there's always other vehicles coming up, coming down. Depends on which way you're going on the road. So I'll just take it easy. Plus, this is the thing I've seen. You know, for me, when I'm out of my back, I don't want to be getting to wherever we're heading as fast as I can because I kind of look at that and then think to myself, well, if I do that. 
I'm missing so many things because I'm concentrating on the road and everything. Whereas here, you know, I can just have a look round, you know, take my time, car behind me, I speed up a little bit. And when I go out with Sanji, we generally wait for like four or five hours. I think most of that time spent sort of like sat around talking and stuff. But yeah, I just like. I said I bought this bike to relax on and to have fun on, you know, um, this is my point about these roads, just take it easy, so what's the vehicles about? But yeah, I just, I mean when I had my Yamaha DT50 when I was 16, you had no choice but to wreck the pants off it because, do you know what I mean? In fifth gear, it'll be my bike on a flat, no wind, 40 mile an hour all day long. But as soon as it was like a hill or anything like that, all of my days, it was just, it was dreadful. I think they should be banned 50 cc's. I think it should be 125s at 16 and then 250s um, and 17 and you do your CBT on. But having said that, I've done 60 miles an hour on this a few times and I said I just don't like riding fast, it's just not me, I, I don't get a kick out of it. I like just riding the way I'm riding now and chilling out. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy me at 40 miles an hour. I really am and I'll be honest with you, um, I think 125s are just brilliant. No, don't get me wrong, they're supposed to do 70 miles an hour these bikes, or is it 73? And I wouldn't want to be doing 73 on it, even if the RPMs were quite good. Me and the indicators today, what is going on? Jeez Louise, sort it out, man. But yeah, I'm happy with the 125. And as I said, the engine is technically running now, and it just, it pulls now really really pulls oh it pulls better than what it did whilst the engine was running tight yeah this is the uh blue lagoon oh gee i tell you what this was literally empty a couple of weeks ago yeah i'll just go up here actually there's actually a part of a land rover in the water there but it's underneath now but yeah um See the waterfall thing there, the water comes down there, I don't know if this camera will pick it up because like I said it has a habit of making things look really far away, which is annoying. But yeah, basically, well not even two weeks ago, just a week ago, you could walk across there. And like where that duck is, it was all dry, you could, you could walk there where that duck is if you can see it. Big red tractor. Well, I think there's a, is it a culvert? Well, there's a pipe that runs underneath the road there. Um, let's water in as well. And then just in between them trees, again, I don't know if this camera will pick it up, but there's a thing that you all can un undo it, and I'm presuming it lets the water out. Bakers. So this is what I love about bikers. It's just, yeah. They look out for each other and they're very friendly because um, if you're from Bolton or surrounding areas you'll probably heard if you especially if you're a biker of Rivington Barn and that's where me and Sanjay usually go on a Sunday um, and I've met so many friendly people there like other bikers and stuff and it's just amazing it really is so yeah um, I'm gonna end this video here because uh, like I said, I want to make two videos. So, um, take care of yourself, folks, and each other. Bye.